great out there today. No, they really look fantastic. I said to Asher last week, for me, um, it would have been a bit more of a competitive race if I'd have seen you and Asher last week pushing each other and stuff like that because you're in such great shape. You're not doing indoors. Um, why not? Commonwealth Games. I'm doing the 200 the Commonwealth Games. Oh, so you're not superwoman then? Me? <laughs> no. It's the rumour. I can't do that, no. Um, 60 at World. World Indoors would have been fantastic, but kind of doing a 60 and then having to translate it into doing championship work, championship 200 in a few weeks later, it's, it's difficult training-wise, difficult form-wise. Um, it's, even, it's even kind of, it's a challenge to do a 200 championship so early in the season anyway, never mind coming off a 60-metre World Championship. So for me, I had to obviously pick and kind of Commonwealth being outdoor and obviously even though indoor's great, um, the focus of, of our sport is outdoor. Uh, yeah, I chose Commonwealth. Your season was disrupted last year as we know because you broke your foot. You did so, exactly. You did so well to get to where you did um, in terms of the World Championships in London. How was your winter, I wonder? Did you go into that feeling quite weird? Was it a strange one? No, I, to be fair, like I still had a little bit of rehabbing to do going into the winter. It was kind of more of a continuation of the work that I was doing throughout the World Champs and towards the end of the season. Because when you do such a big injury, you often need more time than just like a season to heal. So lots of rehab work, but yeah. Wood, touch wood, winter was good, I'm happy. There were no disruptions, everything went kind of smoothly, but obviously that can all change, just track and field. But um, yeah, yeah, I feel good. When you're running seven low, seven zero, like you're doing consistently, um, what does that kind of look in terms of outdoor, in terms of translating that into your 100 meters, your 200 meters? Listen, I, I know, but it, it, for me, it's, um, it looks like you're going to be in pretty good shape. Actually. Hopefully, that's obviously the plan. Everybody would like to be in good shape, but hopefully we're going to see um, how it translates very soon, sooner than usual in the Commonwealth Games. But um, yeah, hopefully it does translate to good 100. I think I know what you're going to say, but give us an insight into what you expect from yourself from the Commonwealth Games. I just want to go out there and do well. <laughs> Look at you, just like, I know what you're going to say. Yeah, I want to go out there and do well, perform to the best of my ability. It is an early competition. We're not used to running kind of championships so early in the year in April, so... We're gonna. We're just gonna go out there, bring it, and see what happens. I reckon a podium place. I reckon, I reckon a podium place could be there for you. Touch wood, but you know, have to wait and see. Have to execute and do what I'm supposed to do first. Well, listen. Well done today.